first place deck profile coming right up. Alright guys, DJ Wambuku back here, um, back with another video. Um, yesterday I went to a winner box, uh, five rounds of Swiss, and I won. Um, and I was playing my favourite deck, Pendulums. Um, I didn't get the Draco Slayer stuff in time, I couldn't find most of the stuff. Um, so I decided to play Pendulum Magicians, um, just to give it another run out. Um, so I'm playing 60 cards. Um, I'm playing one of my favorite engines in this, so it's like a fun deck, but also it, it won to, it's fun to me, but um, you don't have to play the extra engine that I'm playing, but um, also I will make a budget version of Pendulum Magicians, um, and I've got, and the budget series will be back next week, so stay tuned for that. So I'll get into profile. I explain my ratios and stuff. So I played three scroll Corbat Joker. This card searches any magician or odd eyes on perform pal. That's really good. Um, three wisdom eye, this card's insane, not hard once per turn. Uh, just, we've put stuff like uh, Oath Dragon in the scale, these are like your really good your normally really broken magicians. You this one adds back um, harmonizing and magicians for the extra deck, so yeah. And then your scales are normally Oath Dragon and Double Iris, so it's really good. Um, and so these are like the and harmonizing. This one summons a magician for the deck. You always want these in the deck. Um, really good. I'd always play these at three and Joker at three. Um, but yeah, um, so you know it's really good. Um, and the fact they're ranked four as well gives us access to like um, Dweller. Tornado, Baguska and stuff like that. Also you play three Oath Dragon for Baron. So yeah, it's really good. Um but yeah, this is like the standard magician lineup and form power. I wouldn't change any of that. Um so for like the secondary good uh magicians, I played three Purple Poison. Um this card's insane and three celestial. Um so uh, funny interaction with Celestial. So if you say for example you're playing against uh, Despia and you manage to get rid of Mirror Jade, you and they and you make Baguska and you put it in defense mode and obviously Mirror Jade destroys you, your board. Uh, you can actually stop Celest pop you pop Celestial and Baguska comes back with no materials. So it's just an interaction like that. I found that in playtesting yesterday. It's really good. Uh, three Celestial and three Pro Poison. Um, so if you've normally got an Avermax, um, like, like Mathmech uh, did this against me, like they go into um, their IP Mascarena combo, you, you normal summon Joker and try and bait out so they do the Mascarena and then you search for a poison. Uh, I, uh, Avermax does only, only gains the attack of special monsters, so you attack over the Avermax and then uh, you attack with Joker into the Avermax, you tr trigger a Pro Poison's effect. This Kane's 3k, Avermax is 3k, um, and they both um, get destroyed. But it was a funny interaction like that that came up. Um, but yeah, they get a shuffle a card in, but you know, it's what it is. But yeah, so these magicians are actually really good, all, all tournament. Um, uh, so three White Wing Magician and three Black Fang. Um, so. I play three Black Fang for the Ishizu stuff, you know, they mill your deck and they normally get a Dark Spellcaster in group. And yes, they can shuffle it back with the Ishizu stuff as well, but this card's really good utility. Uh, I'm thinking about maybe cutting White Wing down to um, one or two and playing like a Dragon Pit and a Time Breaker because Time Breaker can out the Barrier Statue. Um, so yeah, it's really good. Um, and this engine is really good all night. So yeah, the probably thing going forward would be take out two white magician, but it worked really well all night. Um, I played three sorcerer, uh, pops two cards to add two form pals, can add joker or celestial. So yeah, it's really good. And now for the engine that was MVP all night, um, 
So I played three Magispector Bombuku, three Magispector QB, and three Magispector Ogama and one Tempest. Um, so the whole idea behind this was that if they sum if you if it negates like inherent summon and these can't be targeted or destroyed by card effects. So um and if you have like the extenders, uh, it also gives you another route into Beyond the Pendulum and gives you extra follow up and stuff. So if you have Bombuku and um so like example like extender it still gets you to Beyond the Pendulum and you can search like the scale you need or stuff like that. But I love this engine. Um the fact as well they can't be targeted and destroy the card effect is really good. Um, also against Flunder, if if they don't have the map, um, I know it's very situational, but if they don't have the Flunder East map and they normal summon Rabina, uh, you can go uh, Tempest to negate the uh, Flunder East and send to Grave. So yeah, it's really good a situation like that. Um, Former Pal Monkey Board, uh, it's one card scale, um, enough said. Uh, for the extenders, three Abyss Actor Curtain Razor, three Fenrir, this card's insane, and two Magician Souls. Uh, so, with these, if you draw any of these, or Bombuku, or Joker, uh, you're pretty much good to go. Like. The fact that you're playing six copies of these, well, three of these and obviously three of this, and your chance of drawing a light obviously in 60 cards is okay, but if you draw any of these, you pretty much make me on the pendulum and do your full combo and stuff. But the cards have been insane all night, what can I say? Like, you know, and it's just really good. <laughs> like, uh, three Jawless Alliance, three Pen Call, one Star Pen Graph, one Time Pen Graph. Uh, you know, you know you're, you're making rank fours. You want to dwell a tier. You want to Baguska Flunder East or Baguska Sword Soul or Baguska um, Despia or anything else like that. Uh, maybe even like make Evil Swarm Exiton Knight. No, Exiton Knight uh, Nightmare. Um, well, I'm not playing it. Maybe not. But yeah, if I was playing Evil Swarm uh, Nightmare, you would do that. But consistency is the key. This card's insane. This card, you know, if Magician leaves the field, um, you know, you get to add a Fender Magician, and this searches all of them. So, consistency and three prosperity to dig for side cards, or, you know, combo starters, or something like that. So, yeah, it's really good. Um, yeah, the deck was insane all night. Um, I would end on boards like. Um, like Baguska and Tempest, like don't see much, but against Flunderies they really can't do much. So, you know, it's really good. Uh, for the extra deck, speaking of Baguska, one Baguska. Card's insane, plan B. Uh, two Time Star, uh, two Dweller, because if you are playing tier and they out the first Dweller, and you can't, uh, if you can't go for game on the second turn or when it comes back to you, you can make a second Dweller and probably like survive and you know uh, win from there. Uh, one tornado for back row, one Supreme King Dragon Dark Rebellion for OTKs, uh, Trapeze Magician, um, this card's actually pretty good. Haven't made it yet but I don't know if I'm going to take it out for Nightmare, you also want Nightmare. Um, so yeah one of the Dark Charmers to steal stuff from Grave like Mascarena or some other stuff uh, Beyond the Penge. I might play two of this like going forward one Selene, one Appaloosa, one Axis Code, uh, one Supreme King Dragon Clearwing. Uh, it destroys your opponent's monster board so they don't see it coming. So that's really good. And one Baron because it pops double Iris and it's a normally negate. So yeah, it's pretty good. Um, for the side, I play three Cosmic. This outs the tier, uh, the trap card. Um, it's really good, I can't remember what it's called. Uh, three Dark Ruler, three Talents, three Lightning Storm, and three Evenly. This is what I had on me at the time, so 
It just made sense. Um, like Dark Ruler's good against um, like uh, the Flundery board and Sprite and stuff. Um, Evenly is just a really good board breaker. Lightning Storm's another good board breaker. Um, also, if you have, um, I know it's against like Flunderies, but if you have, um, you have this, like, um, so what you do is you cosmic the back row because their trap card can only be changed during the main phase, and then you like dark room, they continue plays. You know, it's just stuff like that's really good. Um, but yeah, just little interactions like that. I uh, had fun overall. That was the main thing, um, but. Surprised to come first, but I'll take it. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you guys for uh, all the comments and stuff. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Um, and we'll be playing different decks going forward. Um, got some in, uh, another series in mind. Um, so yeah, that's going to be really good. And don't forget and part I think it's part six of playing on uh, playing Pendulum on a budget coming next not this week coming the following week so stay tuned for that and i think i'll do a christmas one with that as well all right guys cheers thanks for watching bye